Hello, my name is Samantha. I would like to welcome anyone who's new to my channel and of course I would like to welcome back any of my regular viewers and subscribers. Today I'd like to share with you my monthly favourites for November. I can't quite believe I say this every single month but I really can't believe that we're now in December. So I'm going to be sharing with you products that I have enjoyed throughout the month of November. Now, first of all, I want to share with you a perfume. Now, I am very, very fussy about what perfumes I wear because I do tend to have a little bit of an intolerance to certain perfumes. And I have, <laughs> I have purchased perfumes in the past and spent a lot of money on them only for me to not be able to wear them. I tend to get headaches um, and it just, you know, a feeling of um, feeling unwell basically with certain um, fragrances. But I picked this up from Primark and I believe I shared this in a haul and it is the Eau de Toilette Marshmallow Delight perfume which is pink sugar and raspberry now i either like very musky scents or i quite like uh, very sweet scents and this is a sweet scents hence marshmallow delight it was only i believe two pounds i had seen it on someone else's youtube channel uh, on another primark call and the person that um, purchased it said how lovely it was. So I went into my local Primark and I picked it up. Obviously I sprayed it and um, it's a little bit difficult when you're in a store and you're spraying it about, especially in the perfume department, because sometimes you do get a mixture of um, other perfumes. And But I really like this and I thought I would give it a go. And there it was, it's always very busy in the Norwich Primark where I picked this up from. So I wasn't quite sure if I was getting a true representation of the scent. However, I obviously sprayed it. I kept it on for a while to let it develop and I really really liked the scent of this it is very sweet um, but in a really nice way it's not sickly sweet I really liked it. it even though it's an eau de toilette and it was two pounds it lasts a long while and I really really like that really enjoying that now moving on to makeup um, and there are palettes, I've got lip products and I've also got cheap products as well. So it is going to be, apart from the perfume, it's predominantly makeup today. So I'll start with the lip products. Now, these are products and what I like to do in my monthly favorites is share with you, there are going to be new products or you know a couple of new products that I purchased a while ago. But what I like to do in my monthly favorites is because I test quite a lot of makeup and share with you a lot of makeup, I then like to share with you the products that I've been really loving from that month that I have you know, shared with you, either reviewed, tried on or whatever. So the first product actually is um, something that, and I've got one of these in my bag. This is my backup, but I wanted to share this with you because, and I couldn't find it in my, ba ba my bag for some reason, so I hope I haven't lost it, but I had a backup. So I want to share this with you, and I've been using this a lot. Now, this is also from Primark. It's the Colour Intensity Lipstick Double Pigment and this I have been using a lot and I cannot recommend these enough to anyone. Um, this is only £1.50 and, and I think I said in my Primark haul when I purchased it, how, well I wasn't going to purchase it because I thought it was a bit like a lip balm, but because it looks like a lip balm, but actually when you look at it, it is a highly pigmented lipstick in the form of a stylo. Now, like I say, this is my backup, uh, brand new, um, because I cannot be without this lipstick. It is stunning. And it is basically um, one swipe across the lips will do the job. Now, this is in the color, it's weirdly named gray. Um, it's nothing like gray at all. I will just swatch it for you. and oh, let me just put the lid on okay so it's this color it's like a mauvey um beautiful well it's like a mauvey grape 
kind of colour. But it is so pigmented and for £1.50 I cannot recommend that lipstick enough. I also have it in the nude version but I really really love this. So I've obviously um, put it in my bag and I may have dropped it or done something with it so I'm, I'm now going to use that but for £1.50 you know absolutely fine. The next is a um, product that I tend to return to if I've done a strong eye look and I want a nude lipstick um, but I want something that's going to last. So for example, I go out quite a lot at the weekend. I mean, at the moment I'm Christmas shopping, I'm visiting um, family and things like that. So I want a lipstick to last and I always return to this and it's the Stila Stay All Day uh, Liquid Lipstick and it's in the shade Caramello. Now, if you would like a nude li liquid lipstick, um, you want one that's not too drying, you want one that's going to last all day, this is the lipstick. It is amazing. It's got a little bit of a um, pink undertone and it's also a little bit moussey. Um, so you can see that although it's a nude, it's got a slight pink undertone, which I love, but it lasts all day. I wore it again yesterday. I just love it. You can eat with it. I tend to find that if I'm out and about, um, sometimes I um, do have, well, I have lipsticks in my bag that I keep there all the time. Um, and if I forget the lipstick, I was so pleased actually that I put this in the bag because yesterday I had something to eat and I'd actually had another lipstick on and it totally went. Now, once I applied this, um, it stayed on all day and it just would not budge and I even had something else to eat because we were out all day and this stayed on. I just cannot recommend again this product if you want a lipstick, especially a liquid lipstick that lasts all day, that won't budge. Um, you know, like me, I was out all day yesterday, or if you're like me, I should say, and you're out all day like I was yesterday and you need something that keeps on the lips, this is the product. The next one is a recent purchase, but again, I cannot recommend this enough. I, um, and when I did this video, um, in fact, I did the Jet Setter palette for Gigi Hadid and Maybelline, I did the lipsticks a little bit before that, but in the Jet Setter video, I said quite a number of times actually that I hadn't purchased from, for example, Maybelline or Drugstore um, for a long, long time. Um, I always purchase from Makeup Revolution and most of the time I order online. Um, and I had to get these because I'd seen so much good reviews around the lipsticks and although the Jet Setter palette I am finding I'm getting really good results with that as well but I wanted to talk to you about the lipstick today because this shade in particular and it's called McCall um, I'm, I'm just loving it it is absolutely stunning I mean I love the packaging for a start I love anything nudey pink um, but this lipstick is and is amazing. I thought initially that this was going to be too light for me and perhaps on its own, yes. Um, but I always use it with the um, NYX Natural Lip Liner. It's just a basic lip liner and this just looks beautiful. It looks, once it's, um, again, <laughs> it is a matte lipstick, but it tends to develop on the lips and uh, I've noticed that although it does look like a peachy, nudey pink, um, or yeah, nudey with a little bit of pink in it, after a while it turns more mauvey. Um, well, it certainly does on my lips and I just absolutely love it. Now, I thought out of the three, I was going to like the shade Tora the best, but actually this is my favourite. You'll have to excuse the one nail polish I was in Primark yesterday testing nail polish and I can't wait to share you actually my next Prim Primark haul. Um, the next lip products are these and they are from Makeup Revolution and they are the Makeup Revolution Retro Lux Matte Lip Kits and I love these. I absolutely love these um, liquid lipsticks. 
Now I've got Majesty and I have got Queen. These are these kits are amazing. They are six pounds each, which is an absolute bargain for the quality that you're getting. Um, you get obviously a lip pencil and a liquid lipstick. Now um, I just love these. They last and last and last. Um, I mean, the Stila, I love that. Um, obviously, I've mentioned that today. But the Stila, I think, is is it something like sixteen fifty, eighteen pounds, that price point. But these are six pounds. They are amazing. You're getting a lip liner as well. And I'm amazed that I love these colours so much. So Majesty, as you can see, let me just swatch the liquid lipstick. It's not a very good swatch, but you'll get the idea of the colour. Let me just pop it back in the... So Majesty um, is this beautiful, rich magenta colour. Love, love, love that. And it looks so stunning on the lip. It really does. Again, Queen, and this is a red colour beautiful i mean obviously we're now in december we're heading to christmas anybody who wants that beautiful red but you want something that's going to last then you may want to pick this up um, to be honest i don't even bother with the lip liners these are so good um, as a standalone lip product that i don't really need to wear a lip liner because they just are stunning I just love those two particular, um, those two colours in particular. Now for the cheap products. Now, if you're a regular viewer, you will know that I love these. I just absolutely love these. I was, um, I, w I went off highlighters for a little bit, but I'm now back, as you can see. And I think with highlighters, um, they can be a little bit hit or miss for me because I only like, I'm quite fussy again about highlights now i like a highlight that melts into the skin that looks like it's a natural glow but obviously i want it more um my skin has a natural glow to it anyway because i have quite oily skin even though i wear a matte foundation um but with a highlighter i want that same kind of glow but i want it to be more intense of course and i found only certain products will give me that glow now one of them again is from makeup revolution and it is the skin kiss range now these skin kiss um, products or highlighters are i think they're five pounds each you get an enormous amount of product here you're getting 14 grams i don't think i'll ever go through one of these but I just absolutely love these. This is what I'm wearing today and I'll share with you the color. All I've got is, I've got four shades here from the new collection. Um, I really liked when they um, brought out their original collection, I really loved the, and I think it's Peach Kiss. I've got so many names in my head now because I've got them in front of me, but I think it was the Peach Kiss one. It's not a particularly peachy shade it's more pink but it just is a beautiful shade and when they brought their new um, collection out their newer collection I had to get them all and share them with you so the four that I really love is I've got champagne kiss which is this really light now it is champagne-y but it's like a very light pinky peach color um, it's coming off quite light on camera so I hope you can see the actual um, you know color but it is absolutely stunning so that there's that one in fact should I swatch these as well I'm wearing one of those um, Primark jumpers with the really wide sleeves not very good for swatching but um, there's that one so that one is champagne kiss then I have pink kiss which of course is as the name suggests pink beautiful i mean i love everything about these i think um, the product is amazing but not just the product how they have styled it i love the um the print on it i just love how they've designed it i prefer it with the actual rose gold um lid but saying that 
I, <laughs> I, I store these in one of my drawers and every morning I'll go into that drawer which houses all of my cheap products and decide what I'm going to wear. And perhaps because um, these are clear, um, I don't have to worry about choosing, you know, and keep looking on the back and opening them. You know, I can just choose from looking at it. So although, yes, I like the look of the rose gold on the original collection, which we had in the UK, um, I, for practical purposes, the clear lid is working very well for me. The next one is Prismatic Kiss. So um, it is a deeper pink. We are going to the deeper um, shades out of the collection. And just beautiful, absolutely stunning. And then, oh, I haven't even shown you that yet. So that's Prismatic Kiss. So you can see that that is a very pink color. Um, don't be put off by that because it works so well. I mean, I always put my highlighter not on top of my blush, but at the top of my blush. And with my skin tone, these shades work. In fact, this is the shade that I'm wearing today and it is Rose Gold Kiss. So this is what I'm wearing there. So although it does look very peachy in the in the pan, it works very, very well on light skin tones or medium. I would say I'm a light medium. And that is what that one looks like. I haven't swatched it particularly well because as I say, I can't put anything, can't roll my sleeve up too far. Um, but that is what that one looks like. In fact, I would say out, and this is really strange because I love pink highlighters, but out of the whole collection, my favorite, my ultimate favorite is this one, the Rose Gold Kiss. I think it is absolutely beautiful. So we've now done the lips, we've done the cheeks, moving on to the palettes, and there are quite a few. Um, I'm not going to do swatches here because I've done videos on all of these. I'm just going to share them with you and tell you what I actually love. Um, from what I've shared with you. And of course you can browse through my channel and have a look at these in, you know, close up and swatched. So the first one that I want to share with you that I've really been loving is the Huda Beauty Mauve Obsessions palette. Now, when I purchased this, and this is the first, um, I was, yeah, first product that I purchased from the Huda Beauty range. Now I was a little bit, um, well, I thought to myself, you know, I'm paying quite a bit of money for uh, an eyeshadow palette. Is it going to work for me? Um, it is small, but when you open it, and it's really strange because when you open it, the pans are full size. So although it looks very small, um, the palette, you've got nine shades here and they are all stunning. You can see that I've used them. I've used, I just love this palette. I think the colors are stunning. They all work very, very well together. Um, yeah, absolutely love that. And like I say, for this being my very first product from Huda, love it. I really would like that rose gold palette but it's 56 pounds. This, I believe was, was it 23? I'll have to look into it and put all of the prices down below for you. And of course, links um, to where you can purchase it. But um, can I warrant paying 56 pounds for a palette? Um, I'm not sure. In fact, I think these were 25 um, each. I, uh, 56 pounds seems a lot, especially when uh, Makeup Revolution or High I Heart Makeup, I should say, has their own chocolate bar palette in the rose gold. And that seems to be very, very similar. So I can't really warrant, you know, paying 56 pounds um, for a palette, um, you know, that I may, may not like. Okay, so moving on, I had to incorporate something from Makeup Revolution. As you know, it's my favorite brand and this is amazing. Now, when I first picked this up, I did think to myself, and when I did the video on it, I thought, oh, the packaging is different to the um, original because it is, let me just tell you what it is. It's the Makeup Revolution Pro HD Amplified 35 Palette and it's Socialite. So this is the one with a mixture of mattes and shimmers. Um, it is from their Pro HD range and they had an original collection, but the palettes were more, they were black shiny all through. So you had a lid with a mirror on them. Um, it was quite heavy. And when I 
first received this, I thought, oh, again, a bit like the Skin Kiss. You know, I really loved that packaging. Obviously, I'd got used to it. Um, I liked the mirror. Um, I felt that the mirror was a really big selling point because it was so big. Um, but when, and when I received this, I thought, am I going to like the packaging as much? Now, they brought out two at the same time, and I can't remember the name of um, that one. Um, but that one was an all matte palette. Now, I tend to find, I do like all matte, but I just love shimmer on the lid. It just works well for me. And although, yes, I really love it, um, out of the two, I prefer this one. And I did think, um, you know, when you look at it, you've got the black, exactly the same on the, the back, you've got that black shiny packaging. But on the front, again, I thought, oh, you know, where's the mirror? I really like that lid. But again, like I say, as with these, um, I've got two of these. And again, it's in my drawer. Now I tend to keep like eyeshadow palettes that I use a lot. And one of, this one is in that drawer. Um, I want to, when I open that drawer, I can see there's, you know, six or seven palettes, but I want to be able to grab those palettes, use those palettes, and then obviously get on with my makeup and get on with my day. Again, because this is clear, um, and although you are missing a mirror, um, I've really found that this has been so helpful because I can grab the palette that I want. I can see that this has got mixture of shimmers and mattes, and I can just basically you know, grab that, put my makeup on and get on with the rest of my day. I love the colours in here. You've got everything in here. You've got um, obviously mattes and, and shimmers. You've got pinks, you've got browns. You've got those brick red colours or brick brown colours. You've got everything and the quality is amazing. Yes, this is a larger palette and yes, it's a little bit more expensive, £15, but Makeup Revolution, their products, their quality just gets better and better and better. And I just love that palette so much. So now moving on to another brand. Now, over the last month, we've, it, we in the UK have been really excited and I couldn't wait to share with you the fact that we in the UK can now purchase Morphe from a UK Morphe site. So I'll tell you the site and I'll also put it down below if you've not heard of this. Um, it's uk.morphe.com. Um, you may come to a website where you have to choose UK or USA. Um, obviously choose UK if you're in the UK and um, you can then shop all Morphe products. And it's been really, really exciting. I've still got quite a number of Morphe products to share with you, but it's been really exciting, really busy um, for me this month, having to share a lot of makeup and a lot of things. So I've still got a number of products that I want to share with you and I can't wait to share those with you. But out of the palette, sorry, out of the palettes that I have shared, um, these are my absolute favourites and they are actually, funnily enough, all from the Christmas collection. So the first one is the eyeshadow palette, the 15D. Now these are really strange because I'm so used to um, Morphe either plastic palettes um, being quite lightweight or as you're going to see in a minute card. So this is quite weighty sorry my microphone let me just move it the wires tapping on my chair um the these are quite weighty even though they are small now as the name suggests um 15d is 15 pans within this palette and the d stands for day slayer which is the name of the palette um i really love this so this is obviously your mirror. Um, I'm going to turn it upside down just so that you can see without being blinded by that mirror. These are very popular shades at the moment. Um, they're beautiful, they're orange tones, just gorgeous. And the quality is there. Now, again, with Makeup Revolution, as with, um, with Morphe, um, <sighs> The quality is a lot better now i used to have all of their regular palettes i don't anymore because i just didn't enjoy them 
um, from I would say the Jacqueline Hill palette the quality has really got a lot better um, and this palette is just amazing I really enjoy it like I say the quality is there and I love the colors so yeah and it's a mixture of matte and shimmer and I think they are 15 pounds but like I say I'll list and link everything down below now with the 15D you then had a 15N which obviously again is a 15 pan palette but this one is called Night Master exactly the same quite weighty um, and inside this one again I'll share it with you upside down um, you've got neutrals but you've also got plums you've got again beautiful colors love this palette so so much and it is so pigmented now I nearly used this one today I very very nearly used this one and I went in with Vava Voom which is this color here and I thought that it would be a really nice transitional shade and I put my brush in but it is so pigmented and I forgot um, <laughs> I forgot and I dipped my brush in I wasn't thinking I was watching um, YouTube and I dipped my brush in went like this and <laughs> it was horrendous because I'd put too much on I wasn't really thinking I wasn't really paying attention the pigmentation is so intense um, and to be honest I went for it for the wrong color I should have gone for a lighter color as a transitional shade um, but <laughs> it just made me think to myself the you know the pigment is there just such a beautiful palette beautiful pigmentation and it's 15 pounds which again is fairly you know I know that you know Morphe you're getting 15 and with Makeup Revolution you're getting a lot more shades but it's nice to have a change you know it's nice to try different things and Morphe has really impressed me now the very very last product that I want to share with you I'm wearing today and it is the dare to create 39a eyeshadow palette again from morphe now 39 is 39 shades and a being the first palette of this kind now this one looks like this again it's from their christmas collection i just love the packaging this one is the cardboard one it is a huge palette um, i think it was 32 pounds so you know it's a little bit more expensive but I just absolutely love it. I like the fact that you're getting a, let me just hold it correctly. Um, you're getting a name sheet. So all of, the na all, the, all of the shades are named. I'm wearing, which one is it? Get it right. I'm wearing this one. I'm wearing this one. This is my transitional shade. This is my crease shade. I even went in with black. Um, the only only slight problem that I've got with this palette is that there is no cream there's no champagne um, shimmer and there's no cream lid shade now um, but apart from that I am absolutely loving it and I put this on the lid and then I went into one of the um, smaller palettes and just added a lighter golden shade over the top because I wanted to mute it down for um, to match with this jumper. Um, but it is just a stunning palette. And again, as with the smaller palettes, the pigmentation is amazing. Um, I haven't worn, well, I have worn it a lot since I've got it, but I haven't worn it for a couple of days. And then when I went into, as with the smaller palettes, again, I forgot how pigmented they were. Um, and I even had to put cream up here because, you know, I blended it and blended it. Um, but I don't like to overblend because of the issues that I've had with my eyes. So I don't want to make that worse. But, you know, the pigmentation was there. I was able to just put the champagne light shade there. It all worked out. I really, really love it. And I always judge an eyeshadow palette. Can I see the shade that I choose in the transitional area? If I can, I know that that palette is pigmented and it's going to work for me. And these palettes that I've shared with you today, they all work in my transitional area. 
because a lot of um, palettes before, you know, Makeup Revolution and Morphe, um, a lot of palettes that I was using, I just couldn't get them to show up. Um, so I'm really, really pleased that there is so much choice out there now. Um, there's so many inexpensive brands, but you're getting the quality. And I hope if you're looking for any of these products, you know, a new palette, new lipstick, new highlighters, I really hope that this has helped. Um, I would really, of course, love your feedback. Um, have you got any of these products? Are you tempted to pick up any of these? And yeah, I'd love to hear your thoughts on that. And of course, if you are brand new to my channel, of course, I would love it if you subscribe to my channel to watch future videos. And um, I would also really love it if you gave me a thumbs up. But until next time, which of course will be tomorrow, thank you so, so much for watching. Thank you. Bye.